Hey, good morning, Hope City. Welcome to the Daily Devo. We are uh, continuing our series with spiritual warfare, and we're going to be looking at 1 John chapter 4, and we're going to be looking at James. So if you turn your Bibles, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, um, the Apostle John is writing, he says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, for many false prophets have gone out into this world. And by this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and is now in the world already. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them, for he who is in you is greater than he who is of this world. This is a great section of scripture that I constantly go back to. And it's this admonishment to test the spirit whether it's of God or not. And so what you're hearing, what you're receiving, um, is this stand in testimony to Jesus Christ as Lord and King, or does it deny uh, who Jesus is? Is it something different? And what he wants to put in front of us is how to evaluate information you're receiving. I want to take this from two different places. Information, testing the spirits, is not just in the doctrinal integrity of what you're hearing, but it could also be the information you receive um, from the spiritual realm. Jesus says, um, my sheep hear my voice. And so dialing into hearing God's voice versus hearing um, the world's voice is an important place of discernment that each one of us really needs to develop. And so this principle and this idea of testing the spirits is a stewardship piece that we are all invited and must work out. God has given us a body of truth to evaluate the things that we are receiving. And I wanted to be um, arming you with an understanding of how to test the spirit, um, the spirits, whether it's of God or whether it's not. So when I want to identify what I'm hearing, here the scriptures tell me, the, the apostle tells me, um, break it down to verse 5, he says, they are of the world, therefore they speak from the world, and the world listens. This is talking about the reality of false teachers, um, the, the, the spirit of that is in the Antichrist, those that oppose Jesus Christ. And what we find is that they speak like the world. The world listens because they hear from the world. Matter of fact, they speak of the world, and the world listens, but we are from God. In 1 John chapter 2, He's talking about not loving this world. In verse 15 of chapter 2, he says, Do not love the world or the things of the world, for if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eye, and the pride of life, it's not from the Father, but it's from the world. And the world is passing away with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. So we have an identifying marker of how the world speaks, how the enemy the world lies under the sway uh, um, of, of the demonic, of, of Satan. And so the world speaks that appeals to one's lust of their flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. So when I'm listening to a doctrines or I'm testing the spirits, my question comes is, is it appealing to my flesh? Is it appealing to make me? Uh, is it something I desire? Is it something that promotes myself and makes me feel good? in the context of my own uh, my self-worth apart from who God is? Is it bolstering me? Is it speaking and gratifying my flesh? If those are the markers that that spirit is speaking into, then that's something to be rejected. That's warfare. That is the little spirit that's lying. But the spirit of Christ is going to promote Jesus Christ in your life. That's what I want to listen to. Does this bring God honor? Does it glorify God? Will it bring me into bondage? Will it, will it put God's beauty on display? Is it humble? Is it meek? Is it gentle? Is it long-suffering? Is it patient? Is it kind? See, those are the fruits of the Spirit. That's the voice of the Spirit I want to evaluate. So as you're walking through, beloved, test the spirits, whether they're of Christ or not. The Lord bless you.